Hi right, Danny, great to see you last night at the Wilderness Club. Just want to recap on some parts we worked on. So since last lesson, we've run through the swing on the left. I think you've done a great job. Club head is staying much more outside the hands. Club face is now matching the spine angle here. Covers the hands, that's absolutely textbook. And then shaft bisects the right, the, uh, right forearm. Now if we keep an, eye, keep an eye on that, and we'll come back to that in a minute, this shaft angle there, and we just run to the top of your swing. First thing we wanted to change yesterday was um, was this elbow position. So we can see, for me, this right elbow is a little bit too high, okay? And it's a little bit too far behind you. I feel, I'd like to see that that um, right elbow maybe a little bit more sort of this position here where this blue line is, and then the left arm there, and then the club there as well, forming one straight line. All you did really to fix that, Dan, was just to almost feel like you squeezed your elbows together and that gave you that sensation of uh, the right elbow stand a little bit lower, a little bit more in or towards your head, sort of in this position, like I just said, and it got the club and left arm, and that line, perfect line, because we can see here, if you was to swing a driver easily, this club is going to go slightly across the line, which uh, we don't want to do. So, like I said a minute ago, Keep an eye on this, this line here where you're bisecting the forearm. When you go to the top, so squeeze them elbows together will be good. But when you start coming down, where you've been working hard on one, trying to keep your bottom back, two, sort of clearing the weight is all good there. But we can see there your shaft angle is definitely above that blue line. And that's one of the reasons that's making you hard, what you're losing a lot of your shots to the right. Okay, it's because you're a little bit, well, I'd say, too steep coming into the back of the ball here. Okay, now I did ask you to work on that last time, but it's just overdone slightly. So this is all really good clearance, it's great, chest is open, all looks great here. For me, this next frame, the handle or the butt of the club seems to sort of lower slightly, and that is causing you to sort of flip it. So if we keep an eye on coming through here, for me, you can't really tell on this angle, but if we look at the swing here now on the right, really good move away from the ball. Nice and centred, great backswing, right hip's gone up, really, really looking good here, Dan. As you start to unwind, really good again, head staying nice and centred, loads of lag there, we've got sort of 90 degree shaft lean, that's really, really strong. Coming into impact here, now as because the club was a little bit across the ball, we can see now that this right arm of yours just wraps over. Now I showed you a couple of pictures yesterday of Norrin, I've sent you some pictures with some other players. But this sort of frame here, their right arm would be dead straight, but the club would still be looking down there. So you know what to do with that. Just use the uh, drill sticks, hit 30-yard chip shots, and don't let that stick hit you. But just finish in that position to get used to it. So you just hit a few like knockdown shots as well. Uh, and that will really, really help that for you. If you're still losing them to the right a little bit, just check, get the club path working left, but that butt working up. Uh, so we hit them little sting cuts. Otherwise, really good, Dan. So right elbow tighter to the body. Squeeze that in. Shallow the shaft a tiny bit so it cuts back through uh, back through the right forearm on the way down. And then from there, just get the butt of the club working up and get the arms to extend away. Your arms tend to finish very, very close to you. Uh, and I just want them to extend away. So that frame there, we can definitely see this sort of wrapping over bit here. And I'd like to see that just stand straighter for a little bit longer. Quickly, just on your putting, stroke was great, setup was good, eye line was good, but the, your head, as you was making contact with the ball, was just sort of rocking backwards this way slightly. So on a little six-footer, you're going to push a lot of putts, uh, and on a longer putt, obviously your speed control is going to go out, and the likelihood is, again, you're going to push them. So easy thing, put your head against the door frame, or just get one of your friends to hold your head, and it'll just make you feel a bit more static over the ball, and uh, that will be really good for your putting. Dan, let me know you get on and I'll see you soon.